flights across the U.S. were delayed today because of staffing problems at air traffic centers, including here in Jacksonville. Our team coverage continues with Action News Jack's Bridget Matter. She's live at the airport, and Bridget, people were not showing up for work because they were not getting paid. And today, people right here in Jacksonville, they experienced delays. People traveling to and from Jacksonville, some were late to their destinations. She was supposed to land uh, almost an hour and 10 minutes ago. Marty Mayer is waiting for her best friend, Barbara Rogers, of over 30 years, to touch down in Jacksonville. Each year, these long distance friends spend a week catching up. But today, Rogers is running late after a staffing shortage at Washington, D.C. and Jacksonville's FAA facilities. The FAA said in a statement they're experiencing an increase in sick leave at the two facilities. Close to 800,000 federal workers, including air traffic controllers, have been working without pay due to the partial government shutdown since December 22nd. Today, they miss their second paycheck. I feel awful for the people who are required by law to work but aren't given any compensation. Today, the National Air Traffic Controllers Association released a statement saying in part, air traffic controllers take their responsibility to protect the safety of the flying public at all costs very seriously. Nothing else matters except safety. It stopped short of the gate. <laughs> Once Rogers arrived, she said pilots updated passengers about the ground stop at LaGuardia. And the pilot told us there were 28 planes in front of us. For Mayor and Rogers, the delay was an inconvenience, but they're hopeful for a long term resolution in Washington. And in President Trump's announcement today, he said he'll work to get uh, federal workers back pay as quickly as possible. At JIA, Bridget Matters, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.